All right, guys, it is day two, and we are gonna be doing the log, the horizontal. A little bit of a learning curve here, because I've never done this before, but I'm gonna be milling this log flat on two sides. And thanks to my buddy Jeremy at Living the Dream, he loaned me a chainsaw mill. So I'm gonna be putting that bad boy together, and then we're gonna try and mill this thing flat. So let me show you what we got going on here. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. Alright, last night we had to cover these bad boys up because it was going to be under freezing, so let's check it out. Yeah, those look nice and hard. Yeah, it's still got a, still a little gooey on top, but it's, it's been cold, so it's going to take a bit for these things to get super hard. But uh, there we go. We are ready to go. We've got one more over there, so... I have my lovely assistant helping me today. Oh, are you okay? Oh, good thing you have gloves. You don't need to do that end. We're only gonna be doing 20 feet, and that's too skinny. So it's gonna be, I gotta get the measuring tape out, and it's gonna be up here somewhere. Um, gonna have to cut off those knots. So, 20 foot log. I'm gonna put them up on top of here so we can peel off all this bark. And then that's gonna be the horizontal that goes from here over there. But I gotta do the verticals first. So anyway, we gotta get the bark off and get this thing milled. So this is what I got from Jeremy, <laughs> and I got the picture of what it's look what it's supposed to look like once I put it together. But uh, so we've got the rails, we've got uh, the push bar, all that stuff. So I'm gonna put this together and uh, according to the pictures, and then put it all together uh, over there at the log. See if I can figure this out. So stand by. All right, guys, I got it all together, and. Uh, Came with a couple extra parts, but I was going to put the guard in, but it won't clamp down tight enough with that guard. So in order to use this guard, I'm going to have to trim this just a little bit in order to get this thing clamped down tight on the bar. But uh, otherwise, this thing is good to go, I think. Pretty cool. It, uh, you can raise and lower this sucker however you want to do it. And I got a, It came with a wrench. So for... Jeremy told me this was the cheapest chainsaw mill he found on the on the internet, and uh, I, it's pretty pretty um, intuitive how it goes together with a, with a picture, and but I think it's going to work just fine. So make sure that the chainsaw is all tight and the chain's all good and tuned up. We'll be good to go. Okay, time out, time out, time out, time out. That chainsaw mill. In order to use that thing, I was going to have to figure out how to make a frame that was gonna stretch 20 feet. Those chainsaw mills, and I'm, not, and I'm not milling lumber, I just need two flat sides on this log. Let me, let me show you guys. And check out this new mill that I just borrowed from Jeremy from Living the Dream. He's got everything over there. All right, so we have this whole log, right? It's, it's actually gonna be 21 and a half, maybe 22 feet long. This is a 30 foot log. And in order to use a chainsaw mill, you've gotta put a frame, an aluminum frame ladder or some sort of a frame system on top of this. Now, I don't have 22 foot long pieces of steel or a 22 foot long ladder. I was gonna have to join it in the middle somehow. And it's all I need are two flat sides. I'm using this whole log for this deck and I want it to look like a log, but I need a, a top to be flat, I need the bottom to be flat. So check this out. I only need to go about 10 inches down here. The 10 inch mark is about here for my diameter. So if I go, if I cut the log at this point right here and take it to 22 feet, I can go down there all, as far as I want to, as far as I need to go. Why okay. are you doing that? I'm gonna make sure this thing doesn't roll. I'm gonna keep it nice and solid. All right, so I am going to do a 
a horizontal line here, like so. So, look at here. Oh, what's the width of it? So that? now, yeah, looking at that, cutting off that much, that's quite a bit. I don't think I want to cut quite that much off. I think I want to cut off, I think if I cut off that much, that'll be okay. So actually, I can just use this level right here. Since I'm not going to be milling the whole thing. Yeah, absolutely. But that's fine. That's I don't I don't care. I'm what I'm looking for is this distance all the way down. Mm -hmm. This part is not getting cut off. I'm going to make sure this piece is level, and this is going to support the two by six. We're going to screw in in just a second, and then I've got my two plumb lines right here. I bid those two lines, and that works out to just a smidge under eight. This is going to be the height of my beam. So I'm cutting off the bottom and the top. I'll turn it and I'll get exactly an eight inch by uh, 10 inch beam. So it's going to be eight foot or eight, eight inches tall and then 10 inches wide. And the, 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 the round side is going to stick out and you're going to see that and it's going to look like a log. Well, it is a log. All right. That's this end. All right, guys, sorry, these came out as pictures and not video for some reason. So I'll have to kind of narrate what's going on here. So you can use a 2x6 or a 2x4 with this particular uh, saw, chainsaw mill guide. And you're going to use that guide. You're going to slap it right over the top of this 2x6. And since I only want to do the two sides, you're going to put that right on the top of the board and you're going to be cutting straight down in a vertical instead of a horizontal like a regular Alaskan chainsaw mill. When you get that horizontal perfectly level, then you screw your board to the top of that, and then you put your guide on there with your chainsaw. Uh, it's got a holding nut uh, that will hold the blade of the chainsaw to that bracket. And then the bracket simply slides down the 2x6, and you can cut, and you can actually mill. You can mill vertical, and you can do lumber this way. Uh, I just found that it was a little bit more difficult to, to actually keep it straight, and you can see in that picture that it wasn't perfectly vertical. You had to kind of play with it a little bit. So you can see the uh, the, the bracket on top of the 2x6 there. It was really easy to do a really long section, but you had to make a numerous passes in order to get all the way through the log. Uh, of course, I had a really nice sharp chain as well too, so that really helped. Sharp. Wow. Pretty cool. Hang on. I like it. You like it? I do. Yeah. I decided to switch places with Olivia at this point. She's really good at running the machine. She's getting better and better at it and so, so amazing that she can be in that machine while I'm doing something else out of there and we can work together to get something done. It just works so well. You look happy. I look very, I, am, I look happy, I'm very happy. That laser allowed me to get precise measurements. It's sitting perfectly flat on all three logs.
It's awesome. This honey. is absolutely perfect. I just need to shave off about a quarter inch off this side to make this level. And then I need to put my bolts through those logs into the pipes to, to make those solid. And then I'm gonna pre-drill a hole. Look how far down it's gonna go in. Yeah. So I'll pre-drill a hole. I'm just gonna do one, I think. I think one's probably sufficient. You have to straighten that out though? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, I'll just huh. bang it straight and then pre-drill a hole here. And uh, that'll keep the, that sucker solid. I mean, it's it's pretty darn solid as it is. And then once I hang the 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 um, the joist on here, and then put a uh, um, a bracket on here to, to tie it in, this thing is going to be so solid. So, yeah, baby, I'm stoked. We are. This was this was the hardest part of the job was this log and these uprights and getting the elevation just right. The rest of it, once I once I tie this together. Then we do our paper, we put the ledger board on there, and we start hanging joists tomorrow. We're going to have a deck tomorrow. Perfect. That's more better. Okay, I got this thing all milled out, and it is now level. I am happy with it. Let's check it with the level here. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, look at that. All the way down, it's nice and level now. So now all these beams are gonna sit right on here. Nice and perfect. Okay, now I just gotta finish nailing this bad boy in. Okay, I got my nails in. This thing is solid. I'm gonna put some bigger bolts in that, but I got these in there for temporarily. Got this grade all smoothed out, and uh, now I'm gonna start hanging some boards. First board going together, honey. First board is on. Um, and aren't you doing brackets? And did you check the level? Good lord, woman. Are you my freaking boss? Are you the contractor? What the heck? I am the contractor. Holy crap, woman. Um, yeah, we do need to seal these. And, oh yeah, I need to put, uh, we need to seal the top of this log. Get out of here, dummy. Then after I... It's okay, I can seal them after. Hmm? I can seal them after. These are the floor joists of a cabin that I that I uh, demoed. They were uh, 13 foot long. We only need 10 foot, so picking the good end. But I was able to salvage all of these, and I have a couple extra left over. But yeah, this is going to be awesome. We are just about ready to start. Nailing these suckers on, but we need to seal all these first. Better to do it now than when they're all assembled. I have my lovely assistant laying out our boards, uh, the deck boards. She's going to be sealing those right now. We got some nice sun going on right now, so that'll they'll dry fast in the sun. All right, I got my lovely assistant here. She is sealing these boards with some Thompson's water seal, and she's doing a fantastic job, I might add. And we have to cover this. We already sealed this with water seal. However, deck joist tape. Window flashing basically is what it is. It's that rubberized stuff. I'm going to cover the whole top of this log because we're not going to see it anyway. And then, of course, on the top of these joists, I'm going to wrap that all the way around. And then right here, I'm going to put some flashing in. I'm going to put a layer of this tape in here. And then I'm going to put a piece of metal flashing. You do not want water getting in here, no matter what. Deck board's gonna go right here. Water's gonna seep in, so that flashing's gonna come right up to here, and it's gonna keep water, it's gonna be a metal piece of flashing right here. In addition to this, overkill, yeah, 
I'll leave a link in the description, you guys, for this stuff. Protecto deck joist tape. There, it's got a sticky back to it, you guys. All right, I laid a double layer of tape over the top of this to protect the top of that log as long, as long as possible. And then while she was still finishing up sealing, I was actually hanging those boards, and I hung those on 16-inch centers. I wanted a nice, solid base with all those joists. And then uh, you'll see on the next few videos where I come in and add the hangers after the fact, after I put a nail in place.